ain't trying to hook up with no married dude that's on the DL, but them looking at me, let them list like LL, no bad energy, no Darissa, I'm just trying to get my weight up, no pounds, dumbbells, I support black greens, black boys, black girls, black diamonds, black pearls, shout out poker, who wanted me to not date online, bad bitch Brock, that's why they always on my chop, always on my cock, cause I'm bad bitch Brock, they wanna give me stacks and they wanna give me So my next project, I have <laughs> things way ahead that I have planned in like October, November, December. So right now, I know how sporadic I could be sometimes. So I don't have specific dates for it in the near future as much as I do in the far future. But mm -hmm. because I have a lot of different things going, like with HR, um, my HR job and stuff. But I do know for a fact that I definitely have projects coming out. They're in the works. Um, it's also going to be like basically kind of like a part two to Dawn of the BBHT, but you can stream that now exclusively on Reverb Nation at Domino Geronimo on Reverb Nation. And then you can also find three of my songs, Selfish, Bad Bitch Bop, and Dunce No Cap are on SoundCloud as well. So you can stream those songs, you can purchase them if you want, support me and my GoFundMe, whichever, but the songs is there. Um, my current projects are in the works because I do SoundCloud, Reverb Nation, and YouTube. I have um, Q&As and stuff that I'm doing as well, but I'm definitely going to come back to the music, so just keep a look out a little bit. Okay, so I see, you know, I'm paying attention. You said that you're coming back to the music. So when will your next single drop? My next single um, that I definitely have playing is all the way in October. But within that time, I know I'm going to drop freestyles and remixes again. Okay, though. And so how do you balance your personal and your professional life? Oh. And one more thing, so um, the single that I am dropping on Halloween, this Halloween is going to be called Sodom and Gomorrah, so be on the lookout for that. So how I balance my personal life and my professional life, I would have to say that I just kind of go where more where my spirit moves me, so mm -hmm. that's where I find my balance, where I just I go back and forth when where it needs me the most, you feel me? I'm not about to sit here and be like, oh my God, I need to just focus on my personal life and I need all of this. Or like in my professional life, I feel like, okay, it's time to go back to my roots and have my family around me, my family base, and, you know, get inspired from other people and just take some time to myself, then I do that when it's necessary. So that the best way to balance for me is just going where I can feel the pit of my stomach, basically. For lack of effort, it's like my gut feeling, pause, my gut feeling, <laughs> or like where the spirit moves me, basically, like when I feel it's most necessary. Okay, and who took the pick of your album cover? So, I had always had it planned that I was going to work with this guy named Frog Kahlo, and Dog Ears, the album for my album, Dog Ears was based off of uh, my boy Alex, who sings. And then my second album, my cousin drew the picture. So it was just a drawing. So that's when I got, you know, more laid back and just, you know, more, became more animated and a little bit more incognito. And then for this album, Dawn of the PBHT, Paul Paolo, which is a local rapper that I plan on working with, he's also an amazing photographer. Uh, he took the picture of my album cover. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully I get to work with you on your next one. <laughs> I know. I see your work. Shit is bomb. I cannot wait to work with you. <laughs> it was I, I'm open to risking things or or not, so. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you see, and I could be, I can work with you on that, because I'll be like, oh, okay, maybe that's, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. But I definitely see your work. It's amazing. I like the clarity of it. I like the angles on point. Thank 
Thank you. That means a lot. <laughs> it really does. Um, so who features on the album? So I only have three features on this album because I needed to really focus on, you know, giving bars and giving flow and everything. So I only have three features, but the first feature, Avius Say, who's on my Dust No Cap, I've done the most features with him, like whether he was on my song or vice versa. Um, Avius Say, which is a, a gay rapper who actually knows Dion Fisher and um, Bobby Lights. They, they all three know each other, but um, Avius Say is somebody I've worked with the most. So Avius Say was on it. And then I had Humble Ricky, which is a singer that I just really appreciate and respect his grind. He's, you know, he's on the come up, but he's also a YouTuber, so I wanted to work with him. And um, so Humble Ricky is singing on my song, Magazine Dreams. And then on my song, CC, which is the last track to my album, was Draw Musical. So... He's also, he's the last feature because I haven't worked with him on anything. So he's on the track and he did the beat. Oh, what? You know, my hand is for me. Yeah, <laughs> I <my> realize. <laughs> so if it's shaky, that's the only reason why. But all that working out that you did and uh, Bad Bitch Brock video. Bad Bitch Brock, that's why they always on my job, always on my cock, cause I'm Bad Bitch Brock. And all of that working out, working those muscles, you're strong. Okay. Working the muscles. Period. Uh, period. Okay. I'll be quiet. <laughs> you welcome. <laughs> Yeah. Camera went off. Okay, we're back. Our camera went off? Yes, yeah, she's back. She's back. Yes, yeah, somebody was being ignorant and called. was. <laughs> 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 Bad bitch Brock, that's why they always on my chop, always on my cock, cause I'm bad bitch Brock. Got when I'm married, dude, that's on the DL, but they're looking at me, let them list like LL, no bad energy, no derisa, I'm just trying to get my way up, no pounds, dumbbells, I support black.